Network File System is a distributed file system protocol originally developed by Sun Microsystems in 1984, allowing a user on a client computer to access files over a network much like local storage is accessed. NFS, like many other protocols, builds on the open network computing remote procedure call system. The network file system is an open standard defined in RFCs, allowing anyone to implement the protocol. Versions and variations, Sun used version 1 only for in-house experimental purposes. When the development team added substantial changes to NFS version 1 and released it outside of Sun, they decided to release the new version as V2, so that version interoperation and RPC version fallback could be tested. NFS V2, version 2 of the protocol originally operated only over UDP. Its designers meant to keep the server-side stateless, with locking implemented outside of the core protocol. People involved in the creation of NFS version 2 include Russell Sandberg, Bob Lyon, Bill Joy, Steve Kleiman, and others. The decision to make the file system stateless was a key decision, since it made recovery from server failures trivial. This design decision allowed Unix applications to ignore the problem. The virtual file system interface allowed a modular implementation, reflected in a simple protocol. By February 1986, implementations were demonstrated for operating systems such as System V Release 2, Microsoft DOS, and VAX VMS using Unis. NFS V2 only allowed the first 2 GB of a file to be read due to 32 bit limitations. The modular implementation of NFS made Sun the dominant player in the workstation industry. The file system was highly scalable and ran on just about every platform a euro a euro much like the NCSA Mosaic web browser or NCSA TCP of the mid-1990s a euro a euro once an NFS server was configured, all PCs, workstations, and servers could share data. Thus, NFS became a killer application and it became a no-brainer decision to buy workstations from Sun once an NFS server was installed. NFS v3, version 3 added, support for 64-bit file sizes and offsets, to handle files larger than 2 GB. Support for asynchronous writes on the server, to improve write performance. Additional file attributes in many replies, to avoid the need to refetch them. A readerpless operation to get file handles and attributes along with file names when scanning a directory. Assorted other improvements. At the time of introduction of version 3, vendor support for TCP as a transport layer protocol began increasing. While several vendors had already added support for NFS version 2 with TCP as a transport, Sun Microsystems added support for TCP as a transport for NFS at the same time it added support for version 3. Using TCP as a transport made using NFS over a one more feasible. NFS v4, version 4, influenced by AFS and CIFS, includes performance improvements, mandates strong security, and introduces a state file protocol. Version 4 became the first version developed with the Internet Engineering Task Force after Sun Microsystems handed over the development of the NFS protocols. NFS version 4.1 aims to provide protocol support to take advantage of clustered server deployments including the ability to provide scalable parallel access to files distributed among multiple servers. NFS version 4.2 is currently being developed. Not everyone was happy with the new protocol. In 2010, OpenBSD's Theo de Rorpt wrote, NFS v4 is not on our roadmap. It is a ridiculous bloated protocol which they keep adding crap to. Other extensions, WebNFS, an extension to version 2 and version 3, allows NFS to integrate more easily into web browsers and to enable operation through firewalls. In 2007, Sun Microsystems open-sourced their client-side WebNFS implementation. Various sideband protocols have become associated with NFS, including the Byte Range Advisory Network Lock Manager Protocol. The Remote Quota Reporting Protocol. NFS over RDMA is an adaptation of NFS that uses RDMA as a transport. Platforms, NFS is often used with Unix operating systems and Unix-like operating systems. 
It is also available to operating systems such as the classic Mac OS, OpenVMS, Microsoft Windows, Novell Netware, and IBM AS-400. Alternative remote file access protocols include the server message block, Apple Filing Protocol, Network Call Protocol, and OS-400 file server file system. SMB and Network Call Protocol occur more commonly than NFS on systems running Microsoft Windows. AFP occurs more commonly than NFS in Macintosh systems. And CAL 400 occurs more commonly in AS-400 systems. Hiker recently added NFS v4 support as part of a Google Summer of Code project. Typical implementation, assuming a Unix-style scenario in which one machine requires access to data stored on another machine, the server implements NFS daemon processes in order to make its data generically available to clients. The server administrator determines what to make available, exporting the names and parameters of directories. The server security administration ensures that it can recognize and approve validated clients. The server network configuration ensures that appropriate clients can negotiate with it through any firewall system. The client machine requests access to exported data, typically by issuing a mount command. Which port the NFS server is using, the client connects to the NFS server, NFSD passes the request to MOUNTD, if all goes well, users on the client machine can then view and interact with mounted file systems on the server within the parameters permitted. Note that automation of the NFS mounting process may take place, perhaps by using FSTAB or auto mounting facilities. Protocol development, 1980s, NFS and ONC figured prominently in the network computing war between Sun Microsystems and Apollo Computer and later the Unix wars between AT&T Corporation and Sun on one side, and Digital Equipment, HP, and IBM on the other. During the development of the ONC protocol, only Apollo's network computing system offered comparable functionality. Two competing groups developed over fundamental differences in the two remote procedure call systems. Arguments focused on the method for data encoding or Euro ONC's external data representation always rendered integers in big endian order, even if both peers of the connection had little endian machine architectures, whereas NCS's method attempted to avoid byte swap whenever two peers shared a common endianness in their machine architectures. An industry group called the Network Computing Forum formed in an attempt to reconcile the two network computing environments. Later, Sun and AT&T announced they would jointly develop AT&T's Unix System v Release 4. This caused many of AT&T's other licensees of Unix System v to become concerned that this would put Sun in an advantaged position, and it ultimately led to digital equipment, HP, IBM, and others forming the Open Software Foundation in 1988. Ironically, Sun and AT&T had previously competed over Sun's NFS versus AT&T's remote file system, and the quick adoption of NFS over RFS by digital equipment, HP, IBM, and many other computer vendors tipped the majority of users in favor of NFS. NFS interoperability was aided by events called Connectathon starting in 1986 that allowed vendor-neutral testing of implementations with each other. OSF adopted the distributed computing environment and the distributed file system over Sun ONC RPC and NFS. DFS used DCE as the RPC, and DFS derived from the Andrew file system. DCE itself derived from a suite of technologies, including Apollo's NCS and Kerberos. 1990s Sun Microsystems and the Internet Society reached an agreement to cede change control of ONCRPC so that the ISOC's engineering standards body, the Internet Engineering Task Force, could publish standards documents related to ONCRPC protocols and could extend ONCRPC. OSF attempted to make DCERPC an IETF standard, but ultimately proved unwilling to give up change control. Later, the IETF chose to extend ONCRPC by adding a new authentication flavor based on GSS API, RPCSEC GSS, in order to meet IETF's requirements that protocol standards have adequate security. Later, 
Sun and ISOC reached a similar agreement to give ISOC change control over NFS, although writing the contract carefully to exclude NFS version 2 and version 3. Instead, ISOC gained the right to add new versions to the NFS protocol, which resulted in IETF specifying NFS version 4 in 2003. 2000s, by the 21st century, neither DFS nor AFS had achieved any major commercial successes compared to CIFS or NFS. IBM, which had previously acquired the primary commercial vendor of DFS and AFS, Transic, donated most of the AFS source code to the free software community in 2000. The open AFS project lives on. In early 2005, IBM announced end of sale for AFS and DFS. In January 2010 Panasas proposed an NFS v4.1 based on their parallel NFS technology. They claimed it improved data access parallelism capability. The NFS v4.1 protocol defines a method of separating the file system metadata from file data location. It goes beyond the simple name data separation by striping the data amongst a set of data servers. This differs from the traditional NFS server which holds the names of files and their data under the single umbrella of the server. Some products provide multi-node NFS servers, but the participation of the client in separation of metadata and data is limited. The NFS v4.1 PNFS server is a collection of server resources or components. These are assumed to be controlled by the metadata server. The PNFS client still accesses a single metadata server for traversal or interaction with the namespace. When the client moves data to and from the server it may directly interact with a set of data servers belonging to the PNFS server collection. The NFS v4.1 client can be enabled as a direct participant in the exact location of file data and to avoid solitary interaction with a single NFS server when moving data. In addition to PNFS, NFS v4.1 provides sessions, directory delegation and notifications, multi-server namespace, access control lists and discretionary access control, retention attributions, sysinfo no name, see also. References External links